but can we make stuff even smarter? By building into materials lifelike reactions, such as healing? Even if I just cut myself while shaving, ow, my body initiates an emergency response. Immediately, it constricts broken blood vessels to lessen the bleeding. Platelets clump together to plug up the wound. That's just the beginning of a miraculous cascade of actions to repair the damage. Can we design materials that can do that? Heal themselves? Iraq, 2004. The US military faced a new and devastating threat in its battle with insurgents. The fuel tankers in theater were actually being shot at by the insurgents, creating holes that would actually leak a lot of the fuel out, creating a problem with safety for the soldiers. The tankers didn't explode like they do in the movies, but with fuel spilling out, setting them on fire didn't take much. The Pentagon urgently sought a solution. A company in Salem, Oregon, High Impact Technology, offered up a new smart material that takes its cues from biology. I'm here to see how it works. Here's a standard fuel tank that would be used on a military truck. And here's one with High Impact Technology's unique coating called Battle Jacket. This is a self-healing, self-sealing coating that was developed for ballistic events in theater. Is that military ease for bullet holes? <laughs> okay. Exactly. The gun used for the test is the weapon of choice in Iraq, the AK-47. Oh, yeah. The target terminated. The threat is obvious. Just one bullet hole will spill 150 gallons an hour. But what happens next is so surprising, it's hard to believe. Let's take a look. Exhibit A, three nasty bullet holes leaking fuel, ready for the enemy to light with a match and blow up the truck. Yes, sir. Exhibit B, oh, he missed. Oh, is this what we're talking about? That is it. These are bullet holes? That's actually the black powder off the bullet that actually made the mark. No! That is a telltale sign of round going through. The uh, coating is now, it immediately started to self-seal. Where's the bullets? They're in the tank. They're inside? They actually just drop to the bottom and you pick them up with the filters. Ingenious! <laughs> it all happens so fast that even with this high-speed camera running at 5,000 frames a second, you can barely see it. There's the bullet, there's the hole, or what was one. What kind of stuff does that? Back at the lab, the Battle Jacket guys break it down for me. If I had to guess, I'd say this contraption is spraying your magic coating onto the tanks in here. Absolutely correct. Just like the world's biggest spray tanning salon. And when that is done, it looks like this. So this is a cross section of the tank wall, right? And the three shots that you did today, that's what it looks like inside the tank. Oh, man. So that would have leaked out big time. That's correct. Battle jacket goes on in three distinct layers. The inner and outer layers are the same material, a specially formulated plastic that can stretch to more than double its size. When the bullet tears through the coating and the tank wall, the plastic stretches around it and then snaps shut, leaving a pinhole size leak. The thin middle layer does the sealing. It contains tiny plastic beads that absorb the leaking fuel. It absorbs it and starts swelling. It'll, it'll grow up to 20 times, and it's like a cork that actually opens up and it locks down that wound. So you get the self-healing from the coating, the self-sealing from the chemistry. There's one last key element, the physics of the fuel. I get to see that in a special test tank with a plexiglass side. OK, David, whenever you're ready. Here's the bullet entering. The impact creates a shockwave inside the tank. 
that actually pushes some of the fuel out the bullet hole, starting the chemical reaction that seals it shut. The arrival of Battle Jacket in Iraq in 2005 changed the game there. The strategy of uh, setting the tanks on fire is, has kind of gone away. I think predominantly because the insurgents really don't understand. They don't think they're hitting the tank. That's how successful it's been. It's a very elegant solution. Battle Jacket is just the beginning. Imagine a smarter world where cars repair their own dents, bridges repair their own rust, or concrete repairs its own cracks. Self-healing is a powerful idea, invented by evolution, and now, thanks to material science, shared with the world of stuff. The only thing that's bothering me is that we only shot three pathetic bullets. Don't those guns hold more than that? <laughs> I mean, do. this is Nova. Let's finish big. Let's we... finish big. Gentlemen, commence fire, please. <laughs> That's better. Battle Jacket is a smart product, 